Chat! I am HD! My camera, okay. Uh, if anyone knows how to fix this, this fla this flaring? I don't even know what it's called. Like, you, you see this? Like, the color, colors going down? If anyone knows how to fix that, please tell me. Other than that... Hello. Hello. This is me. I'm very, I, I am going to hate my, I am, oh my god. Okay, you need to know, I'm normally, I'm pretty okay with my face. I think like, I'm a bit chubby, but that is because I gained so much weight and it's just, I'm just not used to it. Um, but I hate my teeth. I hate my teeth so much. And I hate my, my nose side profile. So, I will hate that. I already know. I'm looking at it and I'm like, that's not good. But anyways, other than that, I think it's cool. I think it's fine. Hi Langston. I hope you have a good day. Wait, let me let me change the music. How are you, Chad? I'm back. I was really, really sick last week. Like really, really sick. I had the flu. I had a fever. Uh, I my throat hurt. I didn't have a voice. I kept coughing. Uh, I did make a test and it was negative, so that is good. That is fine. Um, but yeah, I was I was really sick, so I didn't stream. Message that I could look back at. I love you so much. You're my role model. White heart. Whatever you're going through, uh, Jen. Whatever you're going through. It will pass. Everything is temporary. Just remember that. Keep doing your best. Keep doing what you're doing. And you will get through it. I believe in you. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm back. Uh, anyways, what I want to say. I'm back now. Uh, I'm streaming today, tomorrow, Wednesday. Thursday, um, probably Friday, Fr yeah, Friday, uh, and Saturday we have the tournament at D&D, so I will be here all I week, I am back, I am here, revolving thank you, heart, heart, I appreciate it, heart. um, so yeah, yeah, I'm back, I'm here, I hope you are all well, I hope you are all good. Um, just some more changes. I'm just going to get you all through the changes and then talk to you. Um, wait, I'm sorry. Hi, Siri. I hope you have a good day. Um, uh, I'm changing. Thank you. I'm changing Nikki Beats Hardcore to only once a week because I want to focus more on stuff like the Dream SMP uh, and other projects that I'm working on. So, hello. Uh, just Can so you, you know, Nikki Beats Hardcore is only going to be once, uh, the Dream SMP is going to be more, and I have a few other projects that I am working on right now, so, yeah, yeah. Hi beautiful, I missed your last stream, so uh, I'm really happy you're hi, Nola. streaming, my friend. Thank you, yeah. Oh no. If you could stay high, it would mean a lot. Hey Cassie, I hope you, I you feel so better much. soon. You also remember that whatever you are going through, it's temporary. I know it's hard, it's hard for us all, but we are here for you and we feel with you and I hope you feel better soon. <clears throat> so yeah. Nikki. You I think that so is all. Have a good stream. I Thank you. you, I appreciate it. I already, I felt a lot better today. I, yesterday was like the last day of me feeling really sick and today I've, I've been feeling a lot better. My energy is coming back. So uh, everything Thanks is good so again. So and sweet. I am so stupid because the first thing I do after having issues with my throat is I sing. So my voice is very strained already. Already, good job, Nikki. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, if my voice gets a little bit um, weird, it's because I already strained it. I already strained it because I decided, hey, my voice is back. Time to sing. I was sick for the past week, but who cares? <laughs> so yeah. Yes, -A -M -M -E -R -R -A -A -A. What? 
Oh, yes, camera. Yes, camera. Yes, camera. Hi, Nikki. I hope you're feeling better. I love Thank you. you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I am. I am actually. I'm feeling a lot better. My fever is gone. Uh, my throat just feels a bit weird because I strained it. Uh, my head feels normal again. I have energy again. I am. Hope everything is good. Good. Good, good, good. Pogas. Hi, Julie. Gosh, Julie, you and Cory. Okay, I, I need to do some mod appreciation right now. You and Cory have been so amazing. Like, oh my god. It's Julie and Cory are my mods, right? Uh, some of my mods. I have so many mods. All my mods are amazing. But I have seen the work that you have put into stuff recently. And it is so amazing. I cannot believe you guys. I cannot believe you guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> it's... Wow. I mean, all my mods. Like, I see... Like, my Twitch mods. I see my Twitch mods. So many Twitch mods are always here doing streams. And which is really important because I have a big chat. So, I'm really, really thankful for that. For seeing all of you here every time or many times. Obviously, you don't have to be here at any time. This is not a not like a full-time job that you have to do but I appreciate you guys for being here so here so much and like my discord mods are working really really hard there's this uh big event that they have planned for next week that I will announce uh very soon that will be announced on the discord but like everyone is working so hard and I appreciate it so much like uh because I have been so because I've been so busy like with my own work and up in my own hat and I haven't been checking up on the mods that much but now that I was sick and that I could actually take a step back from work and like look at everything around me I have been seeing like everything that the mods have been doing like around me and it is just amazing and I'm really 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 thankful thank you so much <laughs> thank you mods I love you I really love you and I hope you know that <laughs> So glad you streamed today because today HASN TV now. Uh, I'm, so I'm really sorry. I know really that I know that the past week history. and the past days have been really hard for a lot of people, me included. I I'm not gonna lie, it's been really hard. Um, and let's all get through this together. Let's all hope that it's everything is going to pass and that we can get through this. Uh, it's Nikki going to be fine. We we all got this chat. We got this. We got this. <laughs> David! Hello! I missed you so much, Nikki. I missed you too. You have been so sweet. David has been so sweet to me too. Oh my god. Now, guys, I finally because I okay, you need to you need to know that I always um Whenever I work, I'm like so in my work and I'm so exhausted all the time. And because I took this week off and because I kind of stepped back a little bit, I now have all the energy that I should have, that I would have. Uh, and also my head is not full with all of that work that I've been doing, which is fine. I love doing work. Like I am so, 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 so happy to do this work and to do all of this thing. Like I give myself the work and I, you know, I put myself full, like I give myself the full schedule and do all of that. But uh, because I was able to step back, uh, I realized like so many things. I realized all of the, hello bear, bear too, bear too, bear and David. I realized like all the people that are there for me and all the people that are, that are like around me actually like doing stuff for me and helping me and and like uh you know kind of in the shadows holding me because y you guys know i just moved to a completely new country uh this country just will get got out of the eu which is the only place that I had, that i had ever lived um and having some troubles with my family like my, my family is really worried my like you know some private stuff with my family and like and like all of these all of these things like lockdown uh, Streaming like everything just got to my head and just was so much for me uh, And now that I finally got like got to step back and to actually like Look at everything around me. I realized how many people and who is there for me and I appreciate that so much because I really needed people um, uh during that period and I didn't realize I did but these people did these people saw me and they were like hey 
Nikki needs someone right now. She might not reach out to us because she doesn't know. She doesn't she doesn't feel like that, but she needs someone. And these people saw that and they they came to me and they checked up on me and they and they encouraged me to keep doing what I'm doing and to keep going and I am so 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 grateful. Like so grateful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Seriously. Like everyone, even you guys. For the people, oh my god. For the people who follow my art account, um, my art account has kind of been like something um, that I can't, I want to keep it small because I really like how like personal it is. Um, but my art account has been kind of a thing where I can just be myself and like just go on there and talk about stuff that I like to talk about. Uh, for the people who don't know, I recently started digitally painting. Wait, let me. Let me. I started digitally painting um, and I made an art account and I've always been really passionate about art and about thank you kitten I appreciate it um, I've always been really passionate about art and like uh, all of the stuff around it like just expressing myself creatively um, and I like I really really like how personal this art account is and how I can just go on there and talk about stuff that I like talking about because on my normal Twitter I feel like uh, I shouldn't <laughs> like I shouldn't just go on there and be like hey guys so this is going on and this is what I'm doing <laughs> like you know <laughs> so yeah I don't know that's been helping me a lot too just you know being able to express myself not just through words but also creatively and uh having so many people support that and uh like inspire me and 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 like wanting to follow me on my journey um that's really nice and i'm really really happy about that great stream i love you thank you i appreciate it i'm sorry my mouth is really dry um probably because i'm nervous <laughs> Like always, uh, so I gotta drink some. I gotta drink a bit. I drink a bit of water. So thank you so much for all the subs and all the donations and all the bits. I'm sorry I haven't been reading them. I kind of went off of the just talking, uh, but I, I I read them. Thank you. I appreciate it. I read them again. <clears throat> Full bottle? Yeah. Look how big it is. Hey, it's Nikki, two liters. Two liters. That my better half, who only a few months ago said yes to spending the rest of their life with me, was seeing some other guy since the start of December. So really needing some joy. You're awesome. I'm really sorry to hear that. That really sucks. That is scummy. That, that, there is no excuse for that. That is scummy, and I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope you are okay. Ah, oh, no, you- what? 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 Oh my god! Tog Lee Bus! Thank you for the 15 euros! What the hell? What the hell? It's been a while since I've gotten the, to catch a stream. Love the pink. Hope everything is good. My god! My god! I appreciate it. Thank you. Everything is good. I feel so much better. So much better. I'm going to... I'm probably going to crash after this stream. Because did you know what, what triggered my fever? Uh, the Dream Recipe stream. Because, uh, like, I, I just got all of... Like, Obviously, I was sick before, but like that stream, after that stream, I felt so dead. I was so dead. Like everything hurt. I couldn't talk anymore. Just, I was just so done. I was so done after it. It was so fun. I enjoyed it so much. But, um, one second. Uh, hi, hi, Karis or Saris. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I hope you have a good day. Um, but yeah, that triggered that. <laughs> that triggered my sickness. Hi, Nikki, hope you're you felt so bad, you hope I feel better. I feel better, Colin, look at me. I have energy again and I'm, and I'm good again. I recorded with Colin yesterday, with Colin, Schlatt, uh, Ryan, Zai. <laughs> Who was there? There were so many people. I was so, I was so sick yesterday. 
no that were all that was all okay um and i recorded with them yesterday and i was i was still so sick um but i'm i'm better again i'm good again i'm fine hasn't told my family and i'm really scared I, I hope you're all right. I hope everything is gonna go all right once Hi, you tell Nikki, them. I found out recently that Tommy and it got called out by the vegan teacher. <laughs> yes, I I saw that. I saw that. I watched a video of it. I don't I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. Have you seen the saddest animation? Yes, I have seen it five times so far. Probably, maybe even more because it is amazing and I spend my pastime watching saddest animations. <laughs> did I get a new camera? Yes, I did! I did! It's still like flimmering. I don't know, you probably see this and I want to get rid of it, but I don't know how. <clears throat> vegan teacher yeah. Hi, Nikki, I, I don't know much about them uh, but they I think they're a very strange individual but I don't know much about I'm them so talking, I, ah, <laughs> thank you Izzy <laughs> I appreciate it and hello I hope you have a good day Izzy <clears throat> do I play guitar I do where is my guitar it's on the ground um yeah should I sing? Should I strain my voice even more? I kind of want to. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to chat. <laughs> I'll do it. You missed my last donation, no, I'm sorry! Hi Morty and Lukna! I hope you have a good day! I hope you have a good day! No? Chat? Chat. I'll do a quiet song. I'll do a quiet song that doesn't strain my voice as much, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry, chat. I got this. Oh, do you know what we can do? Okay, for the people who have been here for almost a year, you will, you will recognize this song. You will recognize this song. <clears throat> I can always Always pick up books in the search of what I need, but it doesn't help me any. You're impossible to read. So if you love me, if you love me, come.
I can definitely still feel it in my throat. Like, I definitely still have gunk in my throat. That's disgusting. I'm really sorry. But I do. Um, but that was okay. That was all right. That was not bad. Oh, hi, Nick! Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. sure why you would ever doubt that you had friends that would be there for you. Oh no, I I don't. I don't at all. Like I know I have friends that are there for me and I have so many friends that are there for me and I'm so grateful for that. But like I didn't like you know how sometimes you're just so in your head that you don't realize. Thank you. Oh. Oh no, I appreciate it. I love tuning into streams. Oh, thank you so much, and I appreciate it. That's so sweet. Thank you. <clears throat> you totally feel that? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's just a thing, I guess. When sometimes you're just Here up I in your head. Your books and this $50 no! Toggly Boss, I've been spelling your name wrong. For the past, I don't even know how many months. Thank you so much for the 50 euros. Stop. I appreciate it, but stop. <laughs> I don't deserve this. I've been spelling your name wrong for so long. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, my 4am video. Oh my god. Do I remember the lyrics to that? Like, do it. Let's see if I remember the lyrics. Let's see if I... Let's, you know, let's do some nostalgia chat. Um, what is it? Um, um, by the Things have been rough, but alone, but the energy you're bringing to this room has helped. Okay, I think I know it. I think I know Take it. Take a second to breathe. <clears throat> I love your voice. Uh, what were the chords, though? I think it's I think it's that. Okay. <laughs> Every fire we have makes me stronger. Let me see if I let me see if I have if I have them on my notes. I'm sorry. I, I actually don't remember. I actually don't remember chat. It's been too long. It's been too long. Um, I definitely did the the, the chords wrong. Dear Nikki, you mm. did amazing with your performance, and I just want to let you know that you have saved my life. Have a great day, Nikki. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, is it here? No, this is the wrong one. This is definitely the time though. There. Okay. Okay. I got the lyrics. I got the lyrics. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this again. 
Every fight that we had made me stronger. My name wrong, lol. I hate the term. Every tear that I cry. Why do you donate so much? <laughs> Thank you, Tubby Buzz. It's okay, I spelled your name wrong, okay. <laughs> um, makes me harder to break, to break, to break. Cause baby, you made me hate the world. Baby, you made me hate myself, myself, myself. Myself, myself. <laughs> and baby, you sad little prick. You're all alone in the room here. And I'm following my dream. And I learn. How did I forget my own song? How chat tell me how what the hell? I haven't I haven't sung this in like over half a year. So that's fun. <clears throat> that's fun. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, I think I should give my my voice a break. Shouldn't I? <clears throat> I wrote this song, yeah, that's, I wrote this. That's, I didn't really, like, it's four basic chords and some lyrics over it. It's not that big, but yeah, I did that, haha. -ha. Hi, Nikki, I just wanted to say that you're an amazing person and that you're saving my life. Oh, thank you, I appreciate also, it. can you say hi, Betty, please? Hi, Betty, I hope you have a good day. You missed my last one. So no, I'm sorry. I go again. Hello. It would mean the world to me if you could check out the song I wrote about your character on the Dream SMP. Pippa sings on Instagram. Uh, I'm not Pippa's logged in to Instagram, uh, unfortunately, on my Nikki PC. Girl, you should release but music. 
I can show you something else. Like, I can show you a song that I really like and that I've been listening to a lot. Uh, it's a Miyachi theme. Did you know? Okay, chat, did you know that people make, like, theme songs to, like, the characters on the Dream and Sympathy? That is amazing. That is really cool. Uh, I love all of them. Hi, Finn. I hope you have a good day. Um, this one, I have been listening to so much. Wait, I'll show it to you. This one. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's so good. Let's listen to it, chat. Oh, totally bots! Gosh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you so much. OMG, take my money. I was buried in the ground. hundred of these <laughs> I'm telling you I'm like at least a hundred of these <laughs> no I'm joking uh, I'm, I'm definitely a lot of them though <laughs> When it goes down the drop, it's so good. It's so good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyways, go support the creator. Go write a nice comment. Be like, hey, I watched this. This is really good. I like it. Or something like that. Uh... Give them a like, give them a sub. I've seen you sing so many times, and one thing I've learned is that when it comes to singing, you are your biggest critic. Ah. You always say W A S N T great, even when you sing amazingly. <laughs> Thank you. Take a step back and oh. see yourself for the talented person you are. It was oh. nice. Oh, Julie, Julie just gave me tips on how to change the the camera thing and I will do that after stream. Thank you so much, Julie. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you too. Thank you. Ad time? Ad time? All right. Let's, let's run a quick ad chat. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate it, Andrea. I to thank you for always being so positive and so grateful for you. And I hope you continue to receive the support that you deserve. Thank Love you. you. I appreciate it. All right. Let's run a quick ad. I will be back. 
uh, for the people who are staying here. Hi. Hi. You should now either get an ad or be here. Let me put on some music. Otherwise, it's very awkward. Uh, hi. Music. 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 There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm playing, uh, by the way, for the people who don't know, uh, I'm on a, in a chess tournament uh, on Saturday. I'm playing, it's called Block Champs. Uh, it's uh, just Minecraft YouTubers uh, and Pokemon. I don't think Pokemon is a Minecraft YouTuber, but Minecraft YouTubers uh, and Pokemon uh, playing chess against each other. And I am training for that today. And on Wednesday, today I'm training with Andrea, uh, and on Wednesday I'm training with Anna. She's like, she's a competitive chess streamer, uh, too, which is pretty pog. Chess.com hit me up with her. Chess.com was like, hey Nikki, we saw you need training. We have someone for you. We saw your games. It's really embarrassing. No, they didn't. They didn't say it like that, but <laughs> I'm joking. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, Andrea actually just messaged me, so we're gonna go in a call with her and we're gonna play some chess. Shall we? Shall we? Hello! Bum, bum, bum. Let me open chess.com. Should I call her? I'll just call her. Hi Nikki Ily and I hope you had a good day and I hope you're doing okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. I hope you do too. Ugh, ugh, really ew, the more, the closer I get. Ew, do you Have see this? Day. D -d -d. I'll just stay here. I'll just stay here, chat. You know, a, b a bit blurry, so you don't see everything. God, I need to get used I to this. I I don't day. see myself in this high quality, okay? I need to get used to this. Streams also. When do you think the art streams will be with other artists? Uh, I'm worried. I hope. I forgot what it was called. Very sorry. I don't have a I don't have an name for it. Don't worry. Uh, I hope that I can get it done by Friday. But I need to talk to the artist first. So. Oh, hi, Nikki. Hello. Sorry we missed your call. Oh, all oh, good. Wait. Uh oh, I don't hear her. Oh, 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 I no. can't hear her oh, no. either. Oh, no. Can you say uh, hi, Jayla? Hello? We can hear you hello? now. Oh, okay, perfect. Hi. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you two? We're good. I saw you were singing and playing the guitar. Oh, God. Today. That looks very nice. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. My voice is like Maybe still really good. Oh, do you yeah, sing? Do you play guitar? Uh, yeah, I could if I wanted to. No, you, you couldn't. Andrea would just uh, make I think everyone's I have a ears great singing die. Voice. Um, also, Nikki, your new camera looks awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm I'm still very, uh, I don't know, on defense with it because I'm not used to it. Still. But I, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the quality is crisp. We're using a. We have a nice cam, but still using our webcam because we're always scuffed. Yeah, we were gonna use our webcam today, but we, we didn't. But it's okay, we'll, we'll do it at some point in the future. How are you feeling for Saturday? Are you ready to take down the boys? Oh, uh, I hope so, I hope so. I will do my best, my very best. <laughs> Good, don't worry, we'll train you. I know, because we only did like one short lesson, so mm -hmm. we're gonna speed run some intense chess knowledge. But okay. I think, I mean, everyone is like at the same level, so it's okay regardless. Okay, okay. I mean, I've played against Funny a bit, and Funny is... Oh yeah, you were training with him, right? Yeah, yeah. And you, did you did you beat Fundy or what happened no. there? <laughs> I, uh, I, he always gives me tips whenever we play together, and last time uh, I, I did it so that I shared my street, uh, screen and I played and I misclicked like three times in a game that, and oh, that caused no. us the game. I, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> Were you playing like, like speed chess or was it? A no, it was just normal chess. Like I had like 30 minutes. 
But for some reason, oh, okay. I can't okay. It's okay. It. Take your time with your moves and there won't be any mouse slips. We'll, yeah. we'll practice. Yeah. We'll, we'll train the mouse slips out of you today. Perfect. Yeah, so Perfect. if you want to go on to chess.com. Yeah. Slash live. I know. I think I'm already a friend. So uh, yeah. we should turn down our um, desktop a little bit. Do we have two? Test, test, test. You're testing your mic. Not the I know, no, I, I just wanted to see if there was. I saw two sources. Epic chess training arc with Andrea. I, I, didn't I, love, I, I didn't know you were here. I didn't know you were here. I just updated it. It's okay. It's okay. One of us, you have one of us. That's all that matters. Nikki. I just updated it. I didn't know. Andrea's really smiling at that. Oh. I saw that title and I was so proud. Thank you, Patrick. Andrea's like, the I am the epic arc. I like to call myself the foundation. Oh, I'm like yeah. the rock to the channel, so you know, Ark is even better. You're the rock, and I'm the caveman that makes a fire with the rock. <laughs> bang, bang. Nikki, have you tried Rust at all? Uh, I played it like a few years, or yeah, probably years oh. ago. Oh, you played it a while ago. Yeah, oh, I see. yeah, but I, I just got invited to two servers, which I'm really excited for. Okay, is one of them the that OTV is, one? That, that's how no, you know you're popular no. when you get invited into two. Oh, it <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Alex didn't get any invites, but it's okay, I got you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you you are the rest. rock. I, I tried. Fire. Yeah, I played it like twice, but I kind of mm. gave up. Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again. Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, so Andrea, you've done a lesson with Nikki before. Nikki, yes. what's your chess.com username? Uh, Nihachi. Uh, I can send it Okay. Into... We did some puzzles, so we'll start with like our slow games and just work on blenders today. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Uh-huh. I am just setting up the game right now. I Andrea, you logged into your account. So yeah, but, yeah but I have the mod powers. As you do, that's fine. Okay. Uh, did I spell her name right? I did. Um, I think she needs to go to live chess, right? Yeah, so uh, just make sure that in the URL it says chess.com slash live. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, also, I, I, I like how you put your chat in the corner with that overlay. Did you do it with Streamlabs? Or stream uh, elements? Yeah, no, Streamlabs. Um, I don't know. Okay, okay, what it looks font good. It is. We, need, we I need can... to add that too. <laughs> I don't know what font it is, but you can <laughs> just easily add your chat there. Uh, I can help you afterwards Perfect. if you want to. Uh, Thank you, Jeff. So, look. No, so kind of you, we appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so we got the game started. So I think what would be really helpful is if you, you I'm, I'm gonna crop her video when okay. she's on chess. Um, if you try to say your thought process out loud and if you have any priority in the game, it's to just not give free pieces. That's it. Okay. If you don't give free pieces, then you're gonna be able to survive. Okay. Your hair looks amazing. Um, so what okay. I usually do, uh, because I am a big, big fan of castling, so I usually nice. just as try as to castle. Be. Yeah, it's my favorite move. So what I try to do is <laughs> castle as soon as possible. <laughs> Every coach plan. gets so excited when their student likes to castle. Really? Really? Sometimes we have to force it onto students, but you're you're that's, a good apple. That's, that means you won't be getting checkmated early on. Oh, oops. Oh, there we go. Okay. There... Oh, no, no, it's good, it's good. Just a second. Okay, okay. Do I just keep moving? Sorry. Uh, yeah, keep moving. All right. We're, we're just changing the music. We have some quiet background music, but they had vocals, and the only vocals we need are Nikki's. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. I forgot my song. I forgot your song, but I did it in a smooth way, Andrea. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll accept it like that. All right, so one piece oh. of advice. Mm -hmm. So the, well, you already nailed one of the opening principles, castling. She castled, she's winning the tournament, easy. <laughs> yes, but the, uh, easy another claps. one that Thank is you. important is pushing your center pawn. So your bishop mm -hmm. on d3 is blocking one of them, right? Mm -hmm. The d pawn. Mm -hmm. So if next time, try to maybe advance your bishop one more square forward uh, okay. so that you can maybe push your d pawn. But you can to also fix To the c4 this. square, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So it would be right next to where my bishop is because it's a better place to position your bishop. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure if that is maybe too far, but okay. 
And yeah, as long as it's not under attack, and you can just double check that with our blunder practice here. Okay. Okay, so, so far so good. 10 out of 10 opening. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> now I'm not sure. Uh, I want to move my pieces up. Um... So the the second this is the last opening principle. So okay. castling, center pawns, and then knights and bishops are the pieces you want to develop first before mm -hmm. anything else. So okay. always just try to bring your pieces towards the center. You could start. You already did that with one of your knights, which is good. Um, and yeah, Chad is saying you're already one step ahead of Wilbur. He just learned how to castle yesterday. So. <laughs> That would be a fun matchup. I think that was actually Princess supposed Yellow. to be Nikki's first matchup. Nikki versus Wilbur. Oh, oh no. no, that's actually, that's good because it's pretty even. It's yeah, pretty exactly. Even. So remember Nikki, his first just gotta game. get that first round dub. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. Exactly. I'll destroy him. Good, that's the attitude. There you go. Yeah. Somebody clip that. We're gonna use it in the promo. <laughs> I'll destroy him. I'll destroy exactly. him. We're just gonna make Nikki um, look like this menacing fighter. <laughs> and Wilbur probably will just be like, she probably will. And he's yeah, gonna get true. defensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're, you're developing it so far so good. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, how do you respond to this move? Try to focus um, on not blundering. I would take with my pawn on b3. Yep, you wanna recapture it. And sometimes you want to be careful about having doubled pawns, but whenever it's an important idea like this, like recapturing a piece, you should go for it. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Is I'm saying hello to the chat. Okay. So I can't, don't interrupt. So now my knight is in danger, which means I should move it. Um, I would... So what happens if you move your knight? Let's say knight to b5. What could I do if you move your knight? You could get my rook. Yep, so you don't want to give me your rook for free. Uh -huh. um, and how, how many points oh, is the I can knight take, worth? Oh, I can take yeah, your I bishop with my knight. And then, Good. but you would take it with your pawn then. I guess I it's worth it. So sorry if maybe you've already and I just want to recap. Do you remember all the material worth of the pieces, Nikki? Um, we can remind you if you don't. Yeah, no, I don't think I remember. <laughs> okay, so pawn. And also, don't worry about it because there's other participants who are also learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So pawns are one. Bishops and knights are both three. But bishops tend to be stronger. And if you don't have to, you don't want to trade them for the knight. Mm -hmm. But they're worth the same. Rooks are five and queen is nine. But we'll, okay. we'll recap it throughout the game. Okay. Um, I, mm. So her, her original idea of taking the bishop was good because the bishop's worth three and her knight is worth three. So I feel like we just threw a ton of information at you after you already <laughs> made the correct move. So I don't want you to second guess yourself. So I'll just give you that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're taking it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Somebody just wrote, why do we yell at George and Sapnap, but not you? Um, I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe because Sapnap yells at Andrea. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Is or less than is just who can be louder, but I would never. Nikki's voice is already so yeah. quiet and calm. Well, no I stream chess with Nikki, and I feel like I want to be a better person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> very different. Exactly. <laughs> Um, I would probably move my knight on, yeah, my, my knight on C, C3 to B5, uh, yeah, B5 now. So what is your plan? Are you trying to attack the knight? I'm just trying to get my piece higher up. <laughs> okay, so one piece of advice is if you don't have to, you don't want to start moving the same piece twice unless you finish developing. Okay. So do you remember the other piece we want to take out before? Uh, the rook? Um, but remember, so the opening principles, I remind you. So oh, knights you, mean, and you mean the bishop I should get out. Yeah, yes. okay. Um, so where do you think is the best diagonal for that bishop? A3. A3, that, that's a great one. You could go A3, or you can make a, a two-move plan and 
open the one it's already on. Do, do you see how we could do that? Um, so we'd have to make space for the bishop. By moving the pawn on d1 up? Yes, so those are both great plans, whatever you prefer to develop your bishop with. Although one thing you should be careful of is to not put your pieces on the side, because usually pieces on the side are less active. So for example, on a3, mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't have any space behind it it can go to because it's on the corner of the board, whereas if you push d3 and say move your bishop to g5, you have a bit more control. Oh, I see. All right, I'll move this then. Yes. Good. And so this one was also slightly better because, so do you see what it did with your pawns? Um, no. <laughs> what do, you, what, do you think, so all these pawns are defending each other. Oh, okay. okay. It's called a pawn chain. So this way, if one of them are, is under attack, you don't have to worry about it. Mm-hmm, okay. You should make jewelry with pawns on a chain. Oh yeah, because then it's a pawn chain. Get it, Ooh. Andrea? That's actually that's not a bad idea to say. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was cheesy. I, it's my it's my only cheesy joke for the stream. <laughs> um, okay, I'm in a castle. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna. Ooh, if I move my bishop uh, to e3. That means it will yep. attack your your knight, right? That's good. Yes, that, that's a great square. Um, you can play it, and then I'm going to ask you one more question. All right. So would you want to take the knight on d4? Uh, no, because then you can take it with your pawn, and that would great, be a great. bad trait. Good. Your observation was still good. It's important because, you know, maybe if our e5 pawn um, moves or trades, then you know you can capture that knight. But good. You know you don't want to take it just yet. Mm-hmm. Veronica? All right. Looking good. Um, let's play here. So now it's where it gets a little bit tricky because you've mm -hmm. done all of your developing moves. So what you can look for after you've developed the knights and the bishops one idea is if there's any files that have less pawns. So for example, um, in, in this position, is there any file that only has one pawn on it instead of two? Um... And we should probably clarify files are um, vertical lines on the board. Okay. Um... So you can call them by the letter. It's kind of confusing, but... Uh, I guess the ones where castled with? So, the one where you castled with, if you look at the pawn right in front of the rook, there's also a pawn on f7 for black. So, it would actually be oh. b1. Because if you notice, there's no pawn in front of your rook, so that makes your rook more powerful. Mm-hmm. So I can move my rook... Uh, to b1, b1. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, and, and are you creating any threat with that move? Um, yes, on your pawn, because it's not protected. Right. Perfect. So if we were to miss it, um, let's say we play something like this. What would be a good move? Uh, to take it? Yes, exactly. Free piece. Yay. There you nice go. Nice job, Nikki. <laughs> Thank you. Free, good free job. Pawn. Free pawn. <laughs> free pawn. Um, okay. I would now move my pawn on A2 up so that you can not move yours down. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's... that there's no danger of you getting to the, to the bottom. I actually think that's a, it's pretty, a pretty fair safe idea move, here. Yeah, it, it's not, it's not necessary, but it's a good idea. So you, if you have any safe ideas like that and you're not under any attack, you can go for it. Okay. So another tip, so when you, you don't know what to do, let's say like after you block this pawn, always look for how you can improve your pieces. Mm -hmm. So um, what pieces do you think we could maybe advance? Uh, my queen. Of yours. Queen is one, good. Um, there's, the, there's another one. There's actually a few, but you can go for whichever first. But yeah, let's start with the queen. Mm -hmm. Um, and it doesn't always have to be a huge advancement. Like sometimes even one square will make a difference because it makes room for an, a new piece. Okay. 
Um... I'm not sure. So where are all the squares you're considering for your queen? Um, I'm uh, just thinking about the diagonal line of like um, uh, e two. So the light F3. squares. Yeah, the light squares. Okay. And are there any other squares? And uh, on that diagonal, the issue is that the knights are protecting all of those squares. So you can't put your queen oh. on there because then you would lose it. Um, oh, yeah, what, what you're trying to do usually when you move your queen in the opening is not move it too far away from your pieces because then it could get under attack and as the most powerful piece if it gets under attack then you end up having to defend a lot but you want to do really small moves even something like one square that allow your rooks to get connected because when the rooks are on the same line they're more powerful so is there any move you could do with the plan of putting your rooks on the same line I think it's hard because you can't see your arrows, but... Yeah, um... So, otherwise in the see. diagonal, you looked... So what let, is let's another maybe square? suggest the move, and then she could try to find the plan. Sure. So try moving your queen to d2 and connecting it with your bishop. Um, that's a pretty safe square for your queen. Mm-hmm. And, and once you make that move, do you notice that your rook on f1 now has more space? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's usually the idea with moving your queen, trying to create more space for your rooks. Okay. So now, our knight g4, did this move create any kind of threat? Uh, yes. It is attacking a lot of my pieces. Okay, and are any of them scary? Um, uh, the bishop? Okay, and no, if we protected. take your bishop, no, what would you play? Yeah, it's protected. Good, mm -hmm. perfect. So um, it's always good to double check, but you pointed out it's protected, it's defended, so you, you, now you can continue with your plan. If, if our, the plan was clear, because I know we were a little bit confusing. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. So try to think of options that you can move your rook on F1. So the rook that's next to the king, mm -hmm. um, where are some squares where you can move your rook? Probably E1, because that's the only, like, like the only way a piece would get in. Right? Okay, so rookie one, I'm guessing your idea is because you're protecting your bishop? Yeah. Okay, I, I like the idea of rookie one to be defensive, so let's keep that as an option. Mm -hmm. um, if you remember, when we put your rook, your other rook, onto the B file, what we liked about that is that it had a lot of control over that line, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So. Another idea you could do would be to bring your rook to that same line. Oh, so the, the one on f1 to b1? Yes. Okay. So this is something really strong in chess. You call it a battery. So you kind of double up the two pieces on the file. You could even make plans to include your queen. And it's really easy to attack because now they're defending each other. Mm -hmm. So for example, let's say we play rook b8 to try to challenge your rooks that are on this open file. Now you can see how powerful they are. Yeah, if I were to take it, then mm -hmm. you could take it with the queen, but I would take your queen. Right, and then after those trades, who is better off? Me. Because, nice, perfect. Yeah, because I took your queen. Exactly. Okay, should I do that? You want to Yes, yes, go for it. Okay. Also, I love voice? how supportive your community is. <laughs> yeah, they are so sweet. <laughs> I have a lot of people being like, I have no idea about chess, but I'm still enjoying this. Yeah. It's really great. sweet. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it th is. that's awesome. 
But I also have a lot of people being like, oh, you're doing so great. <laughs> and I'm that's really, great. I'm really thankful. <laughs> that That's very, very wholesome. Good job, chat. <laughs> and, and, and so here you are in a better position. So you have a queen for a rook. And mm -hmm. usually when you're up material, one of the things that is a helpful strategy is to trade pieces because um, you can feel the difference more when there's less pieces on the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I would probably mm, start moving my knight up maybe okay so that is a great plan but there is one trick here so remember when we did those puzzles yeah okay i want you to think if you played knight d5 can you find black's best move it's kind of a similar pattern we've seen before uh it would take my knight with what piece the rook um, oh no, or the, the knight, or their knight, yeah. Oh, you said B, did you say B5 or D5? I think I missed Oh, you. oh, uh, B5. Oh, okay, okay, I thought you said D5. Okay, so, would I want to take your knight with my rook, or can I take with another piece? With the, with your knight, you could take it. Good, and then you, what would you, oh, change your clock, Alex. And then what would you take back with? Um, with, oh, with my pawn. Okay, and then do you see Black's last move? Their rook. You, you, good, so how much did Black win? Um, they won a knight and a pawn. And Black gave you what piece for that? Just a knight. Good, so overall mm. we only won one pawn. But even a pawn is important, and if it's free you don't want to give it. Okay, okay. But that, that was good calculation. So, um, one thing you should be aware of. Do you notice the, we call it the rank because they're horizontal, of your king is kind of like completely naked. And especially with the rook threatening the B file, mm -hmm. it's always a safe idea to make uh, like one escape square for your king. So how could we make a square that maybe the king could move up to? Uh, by moving the one on H2, the pawn. H2, okay, the, there you go. And what else would that do? Uh, it would attack the knight. Good, so that, that's a great move. It has two purposes, and there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. So now, let's say we decide to trade. Do you think this is good for you or bad for you, the fact that we took the bishop? Um, um, I th isn't it the same? Don't they give the same points? So it is an equal trade, three for three. Mm -hmm. But what I was trying to allude to is the fact uh, that you are up in material because you mm -hmm. have a queen versus a rook. So trades are favorable for you. Mm -hmm. Should so I when you're up in material, you always want to trade. Should I take it with the queen or with the pawn? We'll let you make that decision and then we'll give you feedback after. Okay. Um... Oh, mm. Mm. Uh, I took it with the pawn because I I can now attack the um, the knight, uh, good, and I would lose I would lose less if I attacked it with uh, I would lose more if I attacked it with the queen, uh, because it would be a pawn versus queen trade. Perfect. Yeah, if you if you played with the queen, you wouldn't even want to take the knight. Mm -hmm. There's also um, uh, it's too late to point out. But that was the correct move. Yeah, okay. so so far so good. <laughs> okay, so let's see how can you continue your plan. Um, or any you had some other ideas earlier that were good. I don't know if you remember them. Um I now would probably want to move the pawn on D three up by one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we have to calculate. So we whenever we see that they could take, we always have to double check. Mm -hmm. So calculate all the way till there's no more trades. Okay, so if I move up, oh, that would be a that would be more beneficial for you, because yes. I would move up. Uh, yep. Then you would take with one pawn, I would take with my pawn, uh, and then you would take with your pawn or with your knight. Good, perfect. So you're losing a pawn. Very, very good calculation. 
All right, so what other ideas do you have? Can you check the YouTube? It might be not royalty free. Um, probably move up my knight because that is the only thing I can do right now. I could take the pawn on um, a4 with my knight. Okay, and let's double check that move. Is there anything black could do? Um, no. I don't think so. They could move their rook, but that would take another rook, an, another um, His name is move, right? So I could uh, yes. move my move my knight in you that time. Move. Good. And then can you see the last move for black? I'm kind of pushing your calculation, but knight takes mm. rook a8. Let's say you go back, back to c3. Mm -hmm. Then can you see black's last move? Um, to a... Oh, they could take my pawn. Good, good. And if you want, when you're calculating, you can make arrows, so your chat can also follow oh, can along. I? I think you have them enabled, right? Um, yeah, if you don't have them enabled, we can teach you how to do it. It could help during the game also. Yeah, so, I don't have them enabled. Uh, I normally have them, but so, uh, for this so, Try the right click. Is it working with the right click? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so, so go to the little settings gear in the top right corner. And then you'll get this little pop-up that says board. Um, and mm -hmm. then there's one that says right, right button. button, draw arrows and highlights right and turn it on. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, there you perfect. Go. So I can right click and oh. when you're thinking like four moves ahead, they can follow along. Okay. Yeah, okay. there you go. Perfect. I missed so this. you're nice. <laughs> uh, you, were, yeah. you did really well. You double checked the pawn. Now I want you to find the strongest square to put your knight. Because now we know it's not really worth it to take the pawn. Maybe you have something better. Um, if I do it here, I wouldn't attack anything. Oh, if I would put my knight on d5, uh, there we go. Then I could put it up like one one move afterwards. I could put it up on e7, and I would check you. Yeah. So here you can just go for knight d5. So always bringing your pieces to the center, and if they're defended, is always a good idea, no matter what piece it is. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing with checks, normally you don't want to give a check unless you have a plan and, like, an attack after. Because okay. if you give a check, they move, and then you go back, you kind of waste a turn. Okay. Yes. But sometimes there'll be more than one attack, and they'll be worth it. We sometimes call them feel-good checks otherwise. They feel good <laughs> when you give the check, but then your opponent makes a move and you realize now you don't know what to do. I see. It's like instant serotonin and afterwards it's just the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boxbox Box call them serotonin moves. Exactly, exactly. I see. Um, now the only thing I could do is move my queen down. To D1. Okay, let's. So, I think when you're in a check, you need it. So, there's three ways to get out of oh, a check. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I didn't see that I could move my king uh, in squares. And, and yeah. Good. So, this is why it was really important that we also made that pawn move. I mean, you also have you have two options, but let's say if you only had one, mm -hmm. it would suck to have to give your queen. So, being aware of the back rank in your king is a really good skill. Mm hmm. Um, there you go. Okay. Should I. I should probably move it up to F2, right? Because I have more ways to go after that. F2? But, yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. And so, yeah, you're bringing your king towards the center. And when you've traded pieces and you're approaching the end game, you always you want to activate your king. So that's good. Uh, on the okay. side, your pieces aren't active. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and what did our last move do? It is now attacking my pawn. Yep. Okay. We'll Perfect. let her. We'll let her choose her defense. I'm just gonna grab the king. Yeah. Sounds good. Um. Yeah. What hmm. So I'll let you play on your own, and then we'll, we'll discuss your move after. Okay. Um. If I move my queen up to a5, then you take, I take, you take. That that means I will lose my queen. Um, Correct. Correct. You don't want to take on a4. If I move my knight up to b6, then I have your pawn. No, then you will take again. 
I can't. I can I do? Can I do something here without losing a piece? I'll let you go your idea, and then I'll tell you what was correct after. So you double check your moves. We need to build like a confidence with your moves. So double check your ideas and go for whatever you think's best. Oh! Oh, I have an idea. Okay, if I move my queen here. Yeah. Oh, yes, that was the best move, and you yeah! found it good. Very nice. So, you you're doing two things, right? What what are they? Uh, I am protecting my pawn. Uh, and uh, I'm safe. And then there's something really good. Uh, I know you can find. There's uh, two oh, things. Oh, I'm also those. attacking the. Oh, I'm attacking the rook. There you go. So this was a really good move that you found. This is why it's the best move for white. You're defending and attacking. Nice sneaky. Let's, let's go. Say, let's say I don't really know what I'm doing, and instead of so actually before I move, what do you think is the best square for black to go to with the rook? Um, I would think B1. Correct. Good. So I'm going to make a move that's not as good here because now it only has two squares. So just so you can see why it's bad to almost nearly trap your pieces. <coughs> but so far it's looking good. I think you can beat us in this game. Okay. Um, what could I do now? I should probably start attacking or, or like start cornering you, I guess. Like yeah, you're, at this point, you you're just you're up so much material that there's a lot of winning plans. So let's see which one you choose. I'm gonna um, make some ideas for it. Okay. Um. I really liked your cornering idea. So you'd have to think ahead, and see is there a piece you could bring? Maybe it's a slow plan, but a plan you could make to attack the rook with a different piece. Since your queen is the one defending and holding the two squares it can go to. Uh, I... Mm, I could move... Okay, I could move my rook to b4, uh, but then it is attacked by the pawn. The pawn would take, the queen would take... That your knight, move. yes? Correct. Yeah, Correct. yeah, yeah, yeah. If I move my knight to b4, it would be attacked by the pawn which means the pawn will take it good so I, I like that yeah so we can't do that maybe like if you made a plan to trade that pawn but let's keep looking for other options is there another okay. piece maybe it, it might be a slow plan sometimes it's not a one move plan so it's a little bit harder to think about but take your time with this one Andrea's really pushing your calculations here Nikki. so <laughs> even the fact that you're trying is very impressive oh, I feel thank you I mean, I'm thinking about uh, moving my king because he—he's the only one that okay. could move. Uh... And if you could put your king anywhere, let's say like you had one turn, you could place it anywhere on the board. Where would you want to put it? Anywhere on the board. Yes, um... to to help your plan. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So any square on the, so what, what is our plan again? What are we trying to do? Uh, okay, wait, no, uh, I'm confused. Are we taking the rook or are we cornering the king? Just cut out for a second. Oh, sorry. Uh, are we taking the rook or are we cornering the king? What is the plan? Maybe, well, so wait, when you say cornering the king, like, do you mean activating the king? Uh, or are you only mean attacking black's king, Yeah, right? attacking, yeah, attacking black's oh, king. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about our king. So oh. my question for you was if you could place our king on any square, could you make one of those ideas that you just mentioned happen? Um, Anywhere on the board you could place it and then just name the square. Um, maybe d4 because it's really protected but then it can't move anywhere which means i would die <laughs> i would lose d4 it would be under attack right oh uh, yeah by 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 what piece oh by the by both pawns and Good. by the vote. so what uh, was the... our plan again the first one uh, so just to recap taking the rook Good, so we need to attack the rook. So is there anywhere on the board you could place your king that would attack the rook? B2. So imagine you could... 
Uh, B1, it sorry, B1. It has to be B1. illegal. B1, Perfect, <laughs> B1. So, is there a plan you could do to get there? Uh, you I can make arrows if you want on your stream. I could move... Um, Move it. And it's okay if it's many moves. Yeah, I could move it to E2, then D2. Uh, but I feel like once I move it down, it will just try to check me again. Okay, well, can my rook actually move anywhere? Can my rook go to A1 or B1, B2? Highlight oh, the only squares the no. king can go to. Your, your rook nice. can because it's... Oh, because my queen is protecting it. There you go. So because the rook is, it's so helpless right now. It's completely cornered. So that's why it matters so much to keep your pieces active. And since it can't go anywhere, you can take your sweet time with your king. So go for it. Oh, and okay. I, I just want to say again, mm -hmm. I know this is hard, but the process of you working it through is very similar to how you think through plans in chess. Mm -hmm. You want to try to think broadly first. Like it would be awesome if I could get my piece to this square in the in, in you know a couple moves and then go for the specific plan. Okay. Okay. Good. So go yeah, for I your never plan. Think okay. Forwards, because I've always I always think like oh they're gonna move it anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's. It's a thought process. You gotta build it in, but we're we're doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's say I'm gonna. I can't move my rook. Um. I can't make any way to defend my squares, so I'm just gonna bring my king. Okay. I'll just. Hey, Good. Uh, maybe I'll try to throw some tricks. Mm -hmm. Um. What could we even? Hmm. See if this scares her. Andrea is just trying sideways night moves to distract you. Yeah. I feel Don't like... tell her. Don't tell her. Maybe, maybe she'll forget. Okay. If you, hmm. I think for now I can still move my king and keep moving my king. Correct. But you are. Correct. Because my knight didn't make any actual oh. threats. Hmm. True. All I your pawns were it. defended. Yeah. True. Nice. True. So when you're you, when you're trying to see through a plan, if your opponent is doing something aggressive and putting threats on your pieces, then you have to respond. But if your opponent is just doing passive moves, then you can continue with your plan like you're doing here. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to keep... Say I'm Tubbo. I'm trying everything to intimidate you. <laughs> I'm going to play really fast. Okay, oh, I'm gonna, no. I'm going to give you equal time. So I want, I'm going to give you equal time. You're going to play on your own for the rest. And I want to see if you can beat us. All right, but try try to be intimidating like her. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to be... Let's beat Tubbo, Alex. Okay. What would Tubbo say? Oh, He'd be no. Like, Tubbo has some really deep wisdom, honestly. It's hard yeah, to... Was, it's yeah. I remember when I read this in Art of War. Yeah, I pulls up some book I never heard about. He's like, it's like the enemy king in this book. And then he restates a paragraph. I'm like, what the hell is Tubbo talking about? <laughs> oh. I don't know where he gets it from. I am Tubbo. I take pawn, munch munch. He's not a caveman, Andrea. <laughs> okay, now I'm just rust role playing, but I gotta intimidate in some way. Okay, let's say. Mm, no, okay. Tubbo is Tubbo's super Tubbo has good. lost his rook. Right now, mm. Tubbo would be in great pain. Oh, no, no. your Poor army Tubbo. and their army, and you must not fear the result of 1,000 battles. There we go. <laughs> Tubbo five heading. Okay, let's say I have one night against the world. Just one. Okay, I'll let you focus, Nikki. Okay. Um, hmm. I knew I would lose that. Um, but I thought yeah, that see, was okay. Yeah, you, see, you could have... Yeah, I mean, you're, you're winning, so it doesn't, you could have taken it before attacking my rook, but, I mean, you're winning so much, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, you can't say that because I know that I will lose that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know you can win. Okay, I'm going to start clock um, All right, see if Nikki can take on the win. All right, Nikki. Oh. There we go. See, me taking that pawn didn't even really matter. Oh, I'm going to take your queen. Oh, Double's going to no. take your queen. How could you do that? I'm, I'm in a fork. I know what that means. This is a fork. Okay, uh, yes. take your time. Uh, Tubbo's put in pressure. Oh, no. Is he going to win oh, the queen? Tubbo, don't do this to me, please. Tubbo, big brain. He sees something no one else. Oh, no. No, Nikki! Is that wrong? No! <laughs> okay, so what could have you done? Andrea's a snake, Nikki. I, I tricked you. Oh, I tricked true. You. I could have 
taken with the night. My so chance it was it me. was a Tubbo troll. Tubbo was making you think you lost your queen when Tubbo oh, was actually Tubbo. giving you a knight. Man, you fell for his tricks. I told oh, you he was a big brain, man. Yeah, I will he's say, just this so is smart. Less intimidating than my coach I had as a kid. It was this like Romanian guy and he used to ask me, if I gave you this tactic and woke you up in the middle of the night with a gun no! to your head so you could solve it blindfold, could you? And I'd be like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we have like the Russian coaches. Don't oh, worry, no. we won't be having those for block champs. Okay, luckily, you can punish Tubbo. You can do what you did so well with the rook. Uh, but okay, I, I'm actually gonna let you think because three minutes, Oh no. Um I will move my king up and then take it. Yes. Good. And is there anywhere is there any square I can go? Um uh, What if Tubbo I'm gonna be Tubbo, I'm running away. Haha! -ha! Right? Nice, perfect. So once again, you trap my piece, just like you did with the rook. Mm -hmm. So now, in in all your block champs games, you will not play your pieces on the side of the board. Yes, I you will do my best. This. I won't okay. forget it. I'll do my okay. best. <laughs> oh, you know, once or twice it's okay. Once or twice it's okay. And unless you're winning a piece, you're taking on the side of the board. Okay, now oh, you're up. So what do you think your plan is gonna be as white? Um, I should probably start moving my pawns up, right? Good. So in the end game, there's a few things you can do to win. You can bring your king in the center and start attacking my pawns with your knight and king, or you can try to make a plan and promote one of your pawns. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll let you play this again naturally and as fast as you feel. I want to promote one. Okay, say I go up. Fine. So to promote, you always have to, there, there can't be a pawn blocking it, right? So are any of your pawns actually, we would call these pass pawns right now. A pass pawn is one with no pawn blocking its way to promotion. Mm, no, I don't have any. Good, so maybe we need to make one. So we need to find a weakness that you can attack. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking about the one on G and H. Um, there you go. If I move them up together, then I... I hmm. Okay. Uh, if I move the one on G up to uh, G5, you will take, with your one on H, 6. And then... Yes. Oh, no, wait. If I move mine up to H6, then... No, wait. Uh, yeah, uh, you can take it with your one on G7. Correct. So one hard thing is like when you have two pawns versus two pawns, you're not going to be able to win one for free because it's like, you know, the same soldiers in battle. So maybe you need to bring some other pieces. What if you bring your knight or your king to defend the, the G and the H squares and then push your pawns? You can do another king block. You have plenty of time. Whatever piece you want or your knight, whatever you're feeling. Yeah, I think I want to I wanna move my knight. Okay, let's see how quickly you can find a plan to bring the knight. Okay. Say, um, I'll come here. Or maybe you need both of them. Final stretch, Nikki. All, all of your hard work, that king going to the other side of the board, <laughs> your rooks on the open floor. Good. That move was really important. What square did you take away from the black king? Uh, G4, which means also H, uh, 3. And if H, he was... H5 or H3? Uh, so, no, wait, H5? Here, highlight, the, you can also highlight them on your stream. Oh. So what squares is that G4 pawn attacking? Uh, G4. Uh. What F5 squares did it put H5? Good. Oh, Good, so because F5. of the other one. There you go, there you go. So, you, you, yeah, you stop that H pawn, and most importantly, my king now cannot advance. The black king has no way to break through these pawns, because mm -hmm. you took away its only square. So pretty much, black just has to wait, and now you can do, like, whatever plan you want, because I'm completely blocked. Okay. Uh, I'll move my king up. Uh, no, not up to the side, then. Oh. <laughs> okay, good, good. I like the king plan. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, did Alex? Oh, she said your clock. Okay. 
Good, good. I, I literally black. I cannot do anything except move his king because his only pawn move would be a free pawn. So I have no choice here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, king activity. The king is super <laughs> important in the end game, and you're using it perfectly. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, so it's getting tricky. You have your pieces now all where they need to be. Yeah. They're all attacking. So now we need to see how to break through. Okay, I you, um, day, so I am smile. thinking moving my king to g3 and then yes. moving up my pawn on h3 to h4. Great plan, great plan. It's a way you're trying to break through my pawns. Yeah. All right. I can do this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so also I want you to get in the habit every move to look for forcing moves. So which also include checks. Let's see, do you have any forcing moves? Um, I have my knight. I could put my knight on e7, which means I would check you. Good, and um, then let's say I go to f7. Where could your knight go after that? F7. So, knight e7. You can make an arrow if you want for this. Okay, so this is where my knight is. I could go, oh no, that's this is not where I could go. Um. Uh, this is where this would go. Um... So knights are strongest when they're defended by a pawn and when no pawns can attack them. We call that an outpost knight. Not like you'll remember, but that's what they're called. It sounds okay. fancy. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't have to think about how much the... But is there... Is. So from E7, is there an outpost square? Where the knight is defended and can't be attacked. Um, I guess h5? Can I move to h5? No, I can't move to h5. Also, I You're on the right track. Chat is spamming hearts and ours keeps saying is Alex gonna rob me. <laughs> Alex is wearing a beanie and she looks intimidating. And the... <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference of the Minecraft um, audience versus the chess normal Twitch, uh, Twitch <laughs> Andy's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nikki, your idea was really good. H5 is an outpost square, but oh. it's not as strong and it's on the side. Is there a different one? Uh, F5? There you go. And what do you think about that square? Is that a good place for your knight? Uh, yeah, because, yeah, I was, I, I, I didn't remember the king moving. So, yeah, no, true. The king okay. is here, so, so he's not attacking. Good. So, do the plan to get there. Let's see it. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, and then let's say I go here. And then I go here. Full? What do we call this? There has now two names here. Oh, I don't what know. <laughs> um, you, you know one of them. You know one of them. I know for sure. Tell me what a the fork? knight is doing here. A fork? Good, good. Yeah. Because, because highlight the pawns that are under attack. Beautiful. There you go. So now you can take whatever you want. Say I'll give you that one. Uh, wait, which one? Ah, thanks, Emerson. Is it the one on D six? I should take. You decide. You you have to finish us. Mm -hmm. You have to win. Okay, okay, wait. Um, it's all up to Nikki I'm now. Here. I will oh shoot! This. I set up my time, not hers. I will attack this, which means the kin can move up here. Use bathroom. Which means you, yeah, you can only move up. Okay, I'll do this. Perfect. So you're winning a pawn here. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try to just survive. So I'm just gonna move my king. Okay. Um. Could I now just move my pawn up? Uh, my pawn on h3. Would that be? smart yeah guess, you could you good. could move your pawn to h4 yeah. and if i take how would you respond i would take with my king mm -hmm. and then what would your plan be from there um move my pawn on g4 up and if you move your pawn on g4 up and i take it with the pawn oh yeah true oh yeah true so, it's not protected you you can try to uh, think about these moves and then try to go maybe like two or three moves deep at least because then it can help 
you decide if you actually want to go through with the plan. Mm -hmm. So you could go through with half of it. You could do h4, g takes, king takes, but then you would need another idea. Right. And I feel like, should I have my king like so far at the side of the board? Only if you're trying to go for something specific. Otherwise, uh, you might want to have your king closer to your pawns in general in the end game. Mm -hmm. But remember that you are up a piece here. You are up a knight. So try to see if there's any ways you could use that knight to collect more pawns. Okay. Um, move it here. I could take that one. Oh, yeah. If I move my knight on f7, uh, I can take the other pawn. No, no. You can just take it with your king. You saved it. Saved it. <laughs> similar idea. Uh, I could do it on... The other side and take the pawn on c5. Uh, on what square? Uh, if I put it on b7. Then yes, I b7, can... you're attacking the pawn. Is there any way I can protect it? No. Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's the way to go. Uh, so let's say I just push my pawn. I'll still take it. And then it's under attack Perfect. again. And now I'm going to just try to defend it. So now you've made a lot of progress. Okay. Um, I can check you if I wanted to. <laughs> uh huh. So, so right now you're thinking in terms of one move. Can you try to come up with a general strategy before you make that move? Um... I want to get you into a corner and I want to get my pawns up. Towards... Yeah, you definitely want to get your pawns up. Um, which pawns? The one next to your king or the ones on the other side? Uh, the ones on the other side. The ones uh, on the C line. Exactly. Because those are the ones that are passed. Mm -hmm. So if I move... If I'm... Mm, no. Oh, wait. No. No, no, no. That would be a bad trade if I moved my knight to d3. Because then that would... Yeah, that would just make me lose the knight. Um, I, I could still just move my knight up to d7. Check you so that you have to move. Mm -hmm. And I could still move my pawns up after that. Okay, and if you move your knight to d7, what would black play after? What do you think would be black's best move? Um, probably... Oh, yeah. No, probably c... Uh, d5. And then it would attack my pawns that I want to get up. Oh, so d5 wouldn't work because the king is under check, but what we could do is move the king next to your knight so that your knight is under attack. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So, so I love the idea of moving your knight to promote your pawn, but try to see if there's somewhere you can move your knight that it can't be attacked. Um, I can just move it to b7. Yeah! Also, shout out to Lauren624 in your stream, who <laughs> oh, says she's Alex learned so much about our chess. Chat. Hey, let's go! <laughs> Say thank you to our cats real quick. <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, no worries. And Andrea's sir. controlling my computer, and she's there you go. making it difficult. <laughs> That's perfect because now my king cannot come to harass your knight. Mm -hmm. He's trying. Just... He's a little pesky king, I'll tell you that. But That's it'll okay. take. Hello? Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, now we're going to play King D7. So what I'm trying to do now is your pawn from promoting. Mm hmm Okay. So I need to get you away from there. Um, how do I do this? I... Hmm. If I... Huh. Uh, I'll probably just move my other pawn up 
to okay so mm-hmm. to c4 because uh my knight is protecting d6 and that is the square that would attack my pawn right is there another square our king can go to that would also protect your pawn um uh c7 close that would c7 is a scary oh. square because it attacks your knight but what about the pawn and the, the knight? uh d8 because if i promote it he can instantly take it right so d8 would attack your pawn in the future um the king can't go to d8 right now because the knight is occupying it but is there any move if it's my turn so let's say black to move that i could go to and attack your pawn so pretend it's Black's turn to move right now. Where could the king go and, and put pressure on your pawn right oh, away? Oh, oh, c6, c6. Yes, exactly. Mm. So that's what I'm trying to go for. And if I put my king on c6, I'm putting pressure on your knight and on your pawn. Oh, yeah, true. Um, so if there's any way to take control of that square. If I put my knight on d8, then I will protect that square. No, then you can take my knight. Oh, um. <laughs> ah, no, <laughs> a five, a five, and you can't, I, you can't attack it. And yes, ready. perfect. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Nikki, I, I have a non-chess question. Do you think it's normal for your sibling <laughs> to put her stinky feet on you? They're not. Ew. My knee. I'm sitting. No, no, Can no. You just put your legs My, down. First of all, feet are not stinky. They're very nice smelling. Okay, I took a shower after the gym. Second of all, I'm just sitting crisscross applesauce, and I'm just man spreading a bit. Your legs I like are to cuddle. Me. I like your to stay cozy. I just love you, Alex. Accept Aww. my love. She doesn't accept my. Do you have any siblings, Dicky? Yeah, I have a younger brother. Do you love him? I love him, yeah. Yeah, Alex, at least she loves her younger <laughs> sibling. Because her younger sibling doesn't put his stinky feet on it's her. It's not my feet, it's my knee, <laughs> and they're not stinky. <laughs> Man spreading is part of life. <laughs> part of a more comfortable life. When I sit in the car, I just like do the same thing. Sometimes I give her a look of death when she puts her feet up and she just instinctively <laughs> retreats. But now that there's an audience, she knows I can't. <laughs> She I can't see, bite me I like see. she normally does. I see. Yeah. I saw the, okay. the pictures of you two as, as like, uh, children. And I thought that was really funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, she you. has, like, a death stare. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's, that's normal, Alex. <laughs> True. Um, okay, but so far, so good. Sorry, I was dealing with oh, the no little worries. sister energy. And <laughs> it's hard at times. Yeah. <laughs> Let me sit. Okay, I think Alex, we may, oh man, I don't know if we... So now she's protecting all of the squares. Um, I was gonna say this, but I don't know if... It... No, I think that's that's too hard. So there, there's one principle in endgames called the principle of two weaknesses when sometimes just having one advantage isn't enough. So now you have the pawn on the C file. If you could somehow create another pass pawn on the other side, my king can't hold them both. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. This time, I can't just move my pawns on G and H because your king isn't mm -hmm. protecting it. Nice. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, earlier, right, the, the black king was kind of a defender, but now he has, he can't defend everything. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. And now let's say we take. And I take. Okay, and now I only have a king and a pawn that can move, so I'm just gonna move my king and hope for the best. Just go back and forth. Oh Don't have many options. And be careful to not push g5 because then we're just gonna trade pawns, which yeah, well, that's actually, what I. No, no, no. Alex is wrong. I'm actually not wrong. It's a good concept to note. It's much slower to win that I way. I guess you can go for the other one, but. It, it, so if you push g5 and the pawn trades, then you take with your king, and those are trades, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas if you move your king up, and then you get the pawn for free. You should just let Nikki play the rest of the okay, game. Okay, Nikki. Don't, don't you know what? Go for g5, and no, let's no, no, win don't, with don't that line. No, no, don't tell any moves. 
Nikki, you no, go I, for whatever you feel. Yeah, I, I wanted to go for G5, but I quickly realized after. before you said that that it would Either just be a plan, trade. There's a lot of winning plans, so as long as you have a plan that goes beyond two moves, go for it. And then we'll analyze in the end. Okay. Adderland. You can move. Okay. And we, we're not going to help for the rest of the game. So the rest of the game is yours to win. Okay. Even I said that a few times, but, but for now real I this it. time. <laughs> okay. Nikki, the, you're on your own. Okay. Um, I just I just keep moving my pawns up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like the dad. Okay. This is like that one meme, and the father has like two kids, and they're both running opposite directions, <laughs> yeah. and he can't catch either of them. True. That's our king right now. Poor dad. Oh, dad would have ran after dad. me. He would have picked me. <laughs> he would have catch you anyway. Ah. Oh. oh, maybe that wasn't that smart. Okay. You're winning. This is a good position. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah. Our king is doing all of the work he can. Here. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. He's chasing your knife. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Um. We're not going to say anything. Oh, shoot. Okay, I just gave that away, I think. Take Did your I? time. You have, you have oh, no, I didn't. You have plenty of time. I can protect it. Oh, stop moving! <laughs> <laughs> Nikki cares about all her pieces. Yes, I Nikki's do. a good mom. I do. Doesn't want to give away anyone. <laughs> there we go. There it is. He's been waiting for his time to shine. Oh, um, Finally, the sun is the sun is in the spotlight. Um. Ha. Huh. Okay, now I need to think. Oh, no! I can just, Good. I can just do Good. this. Uh, I'm chasing your knight again. Yep, I can see that. <laughs> she still saves it. Uh, oh, should I have traded the knight for the... Take your time. Mm, I think I, I think I could have just traded the knight for a queen. But it's okay. That was one option. But you didn't, you can do that. I, I care too much about my, my baby pawns. There you go. Now she can finally promote everything without giving away her knights. Hey, hey don't help. Hey. Hey. Okay, the only thing you need to be aware of is not to stalemate us. Do you know what a stalemate is? Yes. <laughs> I've had okay, that many times. Good. Okay, just no <laughs> stalemates. Okay. Concentrate, Nikki. You got this. You got this. So, she can't move there. If I move... Okay, well, if I move my queen here, then there, we're playing on this part of the map. Um, I like um, how you call it map. <laughs> <laughs> the board. On this part of the map. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm so used to video games. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Nikki is popping off. She's about to get the checkmates. Okay, with all of her pieces, because she cares about all of them. She doesn't want the knight to feel left out on the party here, I mean. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I got it. Do I have no, it? No, I like it. I like it. Everything's included. <laughs> oh, I need to think. I'm really bad at getting checkmates. That's my problem. Um, um, okay, so... They can't move beyond here. Um, I should. Oh God, should I? No! Help me go through. No! No! Okay, we're gonna have a little stalemate lesson. Okay. Oh okay. God. You, uh, you take 
take it away, Alex. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Is it <laughs> to analyze? Yeah, let's invite you yeah, to an analysis board we'll here. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you don't want to... So, yeah, to double check, you just had to look at all the oh, squares. I'll also go, go back to your previous board so we can invite okay. you to a human analysis board. Oh. Otherwise, we'll just get a computer who says things that are hard to understand. Okay. It was close. The was just too every good. Time, every lesson ends in stalemate, so honestly. I think it's I think it's because uh like as a beginner, I think you've played with a lot of beginners now, and I think as a beginner, mm -hmm. you like it's really hard to understand how to checkmate someone, even though it's a really easy concept. I I personally yes. find it really hard to like see how I can checkmate someone. We could end with like another like ten minutes of puzzles or something. Yeah. To practice if, if, if it's not too much, time. Nikki. And yeah. How oh, much oh is, good. Uh, no worries. Okay, okay, perfect. And and yeah, the, what we're saying is, I think the last four lessons have ended in a stalemate, the first one. So you're the fourth, and this is totally normal, because it is tricky, and at this point we're learning yeah, it. Yeah, everyone is. does mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Everyone says they know it, and then everybody falls into it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, so so let's go back to before you made the move on queen on g3 mm -hmm. can you try doing a right click on all of the legal moves the black king can go to including the square it's on so just right click on them that it can go to yeah so f for example um mm, yeah there's... that's one that's another no this he can't go and you can't go to this so you can go to these two. perfect yes um except for the fact that he can't go to f6 so that's oh. why you stalemated oh. yeah um but but one thing you could try to do is if you're playing on saturday and you're not sure if it's going to be a checkmate or a stalemate mm -hmm. try to do this exercise before you make a move or make sure that every move you do is also a check as in checking the current square the king is on mm -hmm. that way you'll never have a stalemate so those are two techniques you can use if you are winning so that at least you have some peace of mind and you know you can win the game mm -hmm. uh what i should have done now should i have moved the queen to g5 like so how, that how would, would have I been have checkmate won? Yeah, exactly. That would have been right, okay. You got it. You okay. nailed it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you your own question. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. You got it. You knew it all along. You yeah. It, along. it was a joke, guys. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were just debating the chat. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, so I'll always check. Always check if you're worried about it being a stalemate, and that mm -hmm. will make sure that you're at least able to win it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... So and and we can we can set up a few practice checkmates. But the way the way you did this endgame was really good. I I will say, you said at this point in the game that you were considering giving the knight, and that yeah. would be totally fine. If you have two pawns that are about to promote, you can either do what you did, which was take your time and and make sure it's defended, or you could promote right away. Okay. So I just wanted to validate because you were mm -hmm. explaining that thought out loud as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I, I'm just going to go back to the, the other important parts of the game, hopefully, so that they're actually takeaways. Mm -hmm. um, the, other, the other takeaway was if you are in an endgame and you have one advantage, uh, uh, what is a principle you can try to use? Uh, I don't know. You could try to create another advantage, so that way you have two. So what you did in the game is you played on the opposite side of the oh. board, and you went for this weakness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that will help. That will help, because it can be hard to just win one way. So that is another thing you can try to remember from the end game. Mm -hmm. okay. And, Andrea, the, okay, the other one was... When you're up a piece, I loved what you did to go collect the pawns. Mm -hmm. That was a really good strategy. And you can either just try to collect pawns, or if you're up material, you can also try to trade if there were some pieces on the board. Mm -hmm. Andrea, do you think there's anything else? I think that's good. We can yeah. end with like 10 minutes of puzzles. Yeah, let's do 10 minutes just of puzzles. So get the, oh, you want to set okay. them up? Uh, yeah, let me set them I up, actually. I think survival actually. mode is I, better, because they give it to you, but if you have... I, I just want to make sure that we cover some of the basic okay. mates. 
Um, okay, so... All right, let's do it like this. So black to move and checkmate in one. Oh gosh. And you could, I think, I think you can either draw an arrow or you can try to make the move. Um. Like up here? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, 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 because he can't. Perfect. Move. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Exactly, because because the king is trapped. So if you ever have a queen and a king, what you try to do is get the king on any of the sides of the board, because mm -hmm. then he'll run out of space. Mm -hmm. For example, if the king was in this position and you gave check, then he still has some escape squ squares on the back. Right. Right. Okay. Let's let's set up. Let me try to set up a trickier one. Um. Okay. Here we go. Um... And let's go like this. So black to move and checkmate in one. Oh, black to move? Sorry, yeah, black to move and checkmate in one. Oh. Mm. And take your time trying to solve this. Um, if I move this here. And where would the king move the after? The king would move up. If I move this here, the king would again move up. Mm hmm. If I move. Ah! If I move the king here, then. So. Y no. You can't you can't move the king right next to the king cuz technically it would be an illegal square because your king is under threat. Oh, okay. Um... But I'm glad you asked that just <laughs> to have the reminder. Can I move it here? You can't move the king anywhere where oh. it would be under attack and the king's control all of the squares next to them. Okay. So I need to move my queen. Mm-hmm. Because what you notice now is that the king um, is holding these two squares from the white king, right? Mm-hmm. The king, the white king, can you highlight the squares that it can go to or stay on? Um, these, these ones. Okay, and just double check your answer. Uh, no, not this one. Yes. These two. Perfect, perfect. So, is there any way your queen can attack both of those two squares at the same time? Hmm. And one way you could try to see it is try to do arrows with the different checks the Black Queen can give. Okay, so if I go here... Mm-hmm. Then... And keep, keep drawing all of the arrows before going deep into them. Okay. So draw all of the checks and then try to think which one you think might be the best. Oops. Okay, perfect. Keep drawing checks. Um, those are all I see. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to add all of the checks on the oh. board. Oh. Oh! Okay. So if I move it uh, to A5, uh -huh. then I would attack both squares. And exactly. And can't move because of the king. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. And I know it's counterintuitive because these checks are closer, right? So, yeah. Um, it's, it's really natural to look at these first. Uh -huh. uh, but what what you just did here with the exercise of making all of the checks first, mm -hmm. if you're ever in an endgame and you try to draw arrows like that, it will help you a lot. Mm hmm Okay. Um, are, are you down to do, like, two more puzzles? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, here is the next one that I wanted to cover. Okay. Um bum, bum, bum. 
Okay, and... Okay. 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 So here is the position, and it is Black's turn to move here. So let's say Black makes... Uh, sorry, I put the wrong position. Okay, so Black makes this move. Now it's your turn as white to try to find the best move. Uh, move my rook to h1. Yes. Perfect. Yes. So this she is knows called, these. This we is great. This is great. Game. So these yeah. are back rack your checkmates, and you always want to look for them if your opponent has their three pawns because sometimes they forget. So now if I give my rook away, what would you do? I would take it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So you would just you would beat that person up. That would be really good. <laughs> um, and then let's. <laughs> Let's just do one more from this similar tactic. Okay. It's literally set up wrong, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's set it's up okay. wrong. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. So now let's say it's your turn to move here as white. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me make a move for black. Um, sorry, one second. Okay. So... This is black's, and black makes this move. Can you try to find white's best move in this position? Uh, I would. Uh -huh. I know what you're even trying to hint here. I'm, I'm just trying to find white's best move. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we we're still doing mates. Okay. Uh, I would move this rook down. Okay, so let's say you move the rook down, and then my king goes up. How would you continue here? Uh Oh. Uh hmm. I th Okay. Uh so what I'm thinking is if I move my other rook down then you can just move your rooks up. If I move uh yeah, sorry. Uh if mm -hmm. I move uh, this here, then you can just move this down and trap me. Mm -hmm. So I, is there another piece that might come into the attack here? My uh, knight? Yes. Yes. Ah! Oh, I can move my knight to be... No, that would be that would be atta under attack. Perfect. Good calculation. Um, if I move it here, I'm attacking your rook. I'm attacking both your rooks and your yes. pawn. And that Yes. Wow! That is so many pieces. Okay. Yeah, so 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 that oops, I took the rook off. Okay, one second. Okay, yeah, so so knight what the heck? Sorry, my oh. chess.com just glitched out for a second oh. and now I lost the rook. Uh okay. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, so so knight d4, and now you're forking. So I just wanted to show um these ideas so that you have them in, in your head so you had the fork where you're attacking two pieces at the same time you saw that perfectly now you saw the back rank mates and you also saw that you have to be careful and defensive for yours so mm -hmm. that was awesome nikki yay thanks for powering through those i know Thank it can be tough a tough one starting off it was it was but so I, much fun though I, I i'm enjoying chess so much and the more that i learn the more i enjoy it so i'm really happy to always learn <laughs> Oh, well, well, that's awesome, Nikki. I'm really excited for Saturday, and, and we'll send you all of the details for mm -hmm. when your game starts so you don't have to be around for the entire thing um, very soon. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, too. Have a good rest of your day. You, too. You Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Nikki, take care. You, too. Bye. Bye. Uh, I love them. They're so sweet. They're so nice. Hello, chat. How are you? Am I getting a sapnap raid? I'm so sorry. Hello! Welcome sapnap raiders. We were just playing some chess. I have a new webcam. Look at this. Cool. <laughs> How are you? How was sapnap stream? An official raid? All right. All right. How was it? Did you have fun? What did sapnap do? It was confusing. What did he do? How was it confusing? I need to drink something. Give me a second. One second.
Did it speed runs? Did he win? Can you win speed runs? I guess you would win if you make a new record, right? Did he get a new record? Thank you for the sub, Arlos Aller Aller <laughs> Ar Arrow Lesbian. I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> he failed. He sucks. Whoa! Chat. Chat. <laughs> Aw. Panzo's helping. That's nice. That's nice. Maybe next time. Maybe next time he, he, he will do it. He will succeed. What is his current record? <clears throat> How was chess? Chess was amazing. I, um... I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot of things. I feel like every time I uh, I play with, especially with, because uh, I played with Andrea Botes before, and like especially with the Botes sisters, is that okay to call them that? I don't know. But if I play with the two, uh, I learned so much because they can explain it so well. Um, so, yeah. 50 minutes. 50 minutes is his record. Fair enough. My record is... Uh, an hour 20 or an hour 40 but I didn't try to speedrun it and I played it in hardcore but I think that's my record uh, I'm gonna do some cozy chatting cozy chatting and I'm gonna talk to you guys a bit more if you want to stay here and talk yeah no I always have a lot of fun when I uh, play with them and when they teach me uh, we will have another uh, stream uh, not with the two but with someone else uh, on Wednesday I think yeah uh, on Wednesday um, where I will learn more chess so if you guys are interested in learning chess why do I have zero viewers right now I can still see my chat but apparently I have zero viewers I think twitch just broke great that's okay <laughs> hi everyone <laughs> twitch is broken yeah well that's okay um more chess, yes, more chess. Um, will I be doing Dream SMP stuff too? Yes, uh, I have a stream planned Friday, no, Thursday. Thursday or, fr Thursday I have it planned, but uh, I'm thinking if I can make one with Jack, like if I can stream with Jack and he has time on Friday, then I might do it on Friday, Thursday or Friday. Uh, depending on if Jack has time, when Jack has time, or if I will stream alone, uh, I will do a Dream SMP stream though, um, very soon, this week, soon, and I will do more Dream SMP streams, uh, for the people who weren't here at the beginning of the stream, uh, I will move, I will, uh, reduce Nikki Beats Hardcore from twice a week to once a week, so I have more time to stream on the Dream SMP and to do other stuff. Yeah, sorry wishes. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Has the stream gone so far? Very good. Very nice. Very good. Art stream? Yes. Uh, I will do an art stream. Definitely. Uh, I will do an artist stream and an art stream uh, very soon. I have planned that. Um, I currently don't have any pieces that I'm working on. I scrapped I scrapped one hey, of them. Nikki, I just did a cover on Wilbur's uh, new unfinished there we go. song Soft Boy and it would mean Pog! Come to me if you checked it out. Uh, I might, I might do that after the stream, alright? I might do that after the stream. Um yeah, I don't I scrapped the one. Uh, and I don't have anything that I'm working on right now. Uh, but I will do an art stream soon too. Yeah. Can I sing a song for you? Yeah, I can. I can sing a song for you. Sure. Chat. My chat was a bit angry at me earlier because I'm sick. I was sick and I've been straining my voice because I started singing again now that I have my voice back. But I'm also screaming, so that's fine. I'm going to go to bed now. I hope you have Good night, Eleanor. Night. I hope you Good do night. too. I hope you sleep well. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what are we singing? Ooh. Goodbye headphones. Hi, Nikki. I really enjoyed your blue Goodbye piece. headphones. You enjoyed my blue piece? Thank you. I appreciate it. One second. 
such a pretty guitar. For some reason, chat, I promise to you, I am not trying to do everything pink, okay? This is like completely, I don't know, uh, uh, subconscious, I guess? I, <laughs> but I have so much pink. My hair is pink, my guitar is pink. Uh, I, I have a pink sweater here, uh, which is my merch. <laughs> There, my merch. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, <laughs> everything's pink. Um, all right. We are singing. What did I sing? Oh, we can sing headache. We can sing headache. I need to get the lyrics for it though. Oh, not the lyrics, the chords. Um, headache, headache. Thank you for the sub, Rosy Cat. I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. I can't hear you now, chat.
spiraling between the same few songs over and over but that is because I took such a long break from playing guitar that I'm like at a stage where I'm like really insecure about it again so I kind of just go Whoa! don't don't fall microphone please so I kind of just go with my comfort songs if that makes Hi, sense Nikki, I -L -Y. thank you, you I appreciate it your online name, Nihachi. I, I used to be called Nietzsche, uh, and Nietzsche was taken like everywhere, so I decided to, to just add random letters, I guess. Now Nietzsche. Easy. <laughs> Not that easy, because people don't know how to write it. Hey, Nikki, you are one of my oh look, I'm wearing the drip again. I hope you have a good day. Can you say hello to Antonella, please, if you can? Hello, Antonella. Thanks. I hope you have a good day. <clears throat> COVID sucks, but you're making me feel better. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm going to quickly drink something. I'll be right back. Hi, Nikki. Do you have your specs linked anywhere? Much love, XX. I don't, sorry, I, I don't have my specs linked anywhere because I have no idea about PCs. This PC that I have, a friend of mine uh, put together and then another friend of mine looked through it and Glad was like, yeah, that's good. That's all I know. I know you couldn't for months. Ah, yes, again, I'm so happy. Worry about your singing was great. Thank you, Nick. Always nice listening to you sing. Thank you, I appreciate it. I won't die, chat. I just can't drink. I, it's a well-known fact about me that I can't drink. What is the well-acceptable well answer? Uh, am I going to win on Saturday? <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my best, chat. I'll try to beat the boys and Pokemon. <laughs> uh, thank you for the sub return, Lee. I appreciate it. And Alio says, thank you for gifting us up. I appreciate it. Can I play sweater wetter? I don't know how to play sweater wetter. Sweater wetter. Sweat, sweater wetter. Uh, how do I? S sweater weather. Sweater weather. Such a hard thing. You look so beautiful today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Why am I? Oh, I cannot type. How, ooh, that's the wrong thing. How do you play it? What chords do I need? Oh, that's pretty easy chords. I might learn it. Might learn it, chat. Maybe. Maybe. Tim, thank you for the for the two years. I appreciate it. Thank you. You are such an amazing person. I love you and your stream so Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you, chat? I, I wasn't here for a week. What did I miss? 
How are Hi, you? Nikki, I can't sleep, so thanks for this pog chilled stream. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> My pants are so cool. I got them from Rambu. Rambu gave them to me. Pants. <laughs> yeah. I've been wearing them a lot. I, I'm washing them. Don't worry, chat. I'm washing them. No, don't think, don't think anything. I'm washing them. But I've been wearing them a lot just because they're really comfy. <clears throat> thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Kenzie, thank you for the 100 bits. I mean, I'm with Rambu now. He he sent them to me. He Hi, sent them to me. Hi to Natalie. Also Hello, you, Natalie. Nikki. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a good day. <clears throat> you were missing me. Oh, oh, chat. I missed you too. I missed you too. <clears throat> hey, Nikki. Thank you for being such a comforting and safe place for a trans girl like. Ah. Of course. Signed, another Nikki. Hey, let's go. Another Nikki. And it's with a K, with one K. Did you know, chat? Chat, did you know? My brother writes I my name so wrong. Like, um, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I'm very excited too. Um, my brother writes my name wrong. He writes it, he writes it with a CK. And I C K I. Do I like pickles? I like pickles. I love pickles. That might be a very controversial take, but I love pickles. Um, yeah, because uh, he he call, he's been Wait, calling me Nikki. On Saturday, by the way, oh, you. oh yeah. For the people who don't know, we have a chess tournament on Saturday um, with Minecraft YouTubers. Uh, did I read? Did I read out the people? I think I read out the people. Let me let me do that again. Uh, Pokey, Wilbur, George. Oh, Lily Peach is in it. I didn't know Lily Peach was in there. I am. Okay. Oh, I'm outing myself here. I am such a big fan of Lily Peach. I think she is amazing. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> when she followed me back on Twitter, I thought my career is done. I don't need to do anything else. I have reached everything that I ever wanted to reach. So. I, that is very exciting. Anyways, <laughs> Lady Pichu, Fundy, Sapnap, Tabo, and me are gonna be in the tournament. Um, what were we? Oh yeah, too. hell yeah. For being my comfort oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, um. Oh yeah. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. My brother s Hi. writes my name wrong we'll because art soon, soon. Very soon. I have a plant and I, I love the, the other one, so I will do it soon. Um, he's been calling me Nikki, like, for forever. Uh, and my family calls me Nikki. Only my mom calls me by my full name. Um, but he's been calling me Nikki and my family calls me Nikki. Uh, but for some reason, he writes it with a CK? But my full name doesn't have a CK in. Richard Lee, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, chat, chat, do you want to see something? Do you want to see something? I... I'll show you something, chat. Ooh, what is going on with my hair right now? JST wants to say that you look so cute today. Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to show this to you. I don't know why. Hey, Nikki, what might do you use? Sorry if somebody already asked this. I only. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. it. Ooh. 
my hair is doing whatever it wants right now. Hi, Nikki. Oh. You're my biggest inspiration to start streaming, and last night I hit 100 viewers. No way! Let's go! Thank you for being such a bright light. Hell yeah! I'm so proud. 100 viewers is a big thing. My friend Grace says hi. Hi! Hi, Grace! I hope you have a good day. <clears throat> I'm not a furry chat. I'm not a furry. Stop. Stop. C A T G I R L C A T G I R L C A T G I R L. What does that? Oh, cat girl! Cat girl! <laughs> I'm very slow. I'm very slow. Love it. You are amazing. Have a great night. Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Wait, was that saddest? Wait, 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 was that saddest? Who said they had a hundred viewers? Oh, why are you saying saddest? Is saddest here? Is saddest here? Oh, you want me to watch the animation? I've seen the animation so many times. I could not give you any reaction, chat. I've seen it so many times. By the way, your singing was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, uh, the SMP. Super. Story. Yeah, I need to do that. Uh, we have the event next week uh, on my Minecraft server where I will play on it. And I do need to play on it. Now that I have Nikki with Hacker only once a week, hi, Nikki, I could, me again. Can you, you know, say hi, try and, and, again, and do more, more stuff with that. Guys, I have seen it so many times. You just want me to sit there and just and just look at it. Hi Nikki, can you please say hi to Alexis? It would mean the world to me also. Hi Alexis. So. Alexa, Alexis? Shoot. Really uh Alexis! Hi Alexis! I hope you have a good day. Saddest. You you guys, you guys. Okay. I don't need to do that. Uh give me one second. Hi, Nikki, much love. There you go, chat. May I ask what mic you use? Uh, <coughs> I don't know what that was. I uh, use the HyperX podcast. Very, very, um, very beautiful and make me insane. Yeah. Many others happy every Thank day. you, I appreciate love it. Love in the chat, guys. All right, chat. I already saw this so many times. What color should I dye my hair? Oh, I watched it with. I, I th th that is a cool story though. Um, when it premiered, it was like what time was it in the UK? Like eight a.m. or something? Was it eight a.m.? I think it was earlier. Six a.m. I don't know what time it was. Ah, oh, Lemmy, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Six a.m. Yeah. So I stayed up until six a.m. Um, and I was on a call with Techno, and we to we together watched this the first time. We watched the premiere together. Four a.m.? No, it was it was later than four a.m. It was six a.m. What do you think gives you? Power? I really like this scene. This is really good. I'm really Is glad that they implemented this. Is it the fact that you're king? Respect is the only thing protecting you from a knife in the back. Respect is nothing, right? Have you noticed that from the beginning of this? I can't even give you a chat. I have already used everything. up all of my reaction to this. I don't have any rea I just, I'm at this point, just sitting here watching it like I always do. <laughs> no matter what happens. You know, it, uh, this, well. oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's all blown up if you have a thousand men by your side. If you have all of the best the of years, if ten of those was or not, it's me and you versus Dream. It's really good. I love the music with it. Yeah. Now this. 
Now this is the vault. I am ready for revolution, boys. Is it too loud? Is it too loud? Manberg Pogtopia. I love that Who too. Cares? I I love <laughs> I, I love Bat's design. Like, Bat is so Who cute cares? in this. Isn't the he? The thing that I built this nation for doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry. It's over. What are you doing? Oh. Very good. Very cool. Do it. You know, if I die. This country goes down with me. I, I say this every time. Every time that I watch uh, an, an, an animatic. I love Puffy. Schlatt's designs. Puffy's design? Oh, Puffy's design is so cute. Puffy's design is so cute. But Schlatt's design, the way that artists, like every single artist designs Schlatt a little bit differently. And it is just so cool. Like, I love what artists do with Schlatt's design. It's so cool. It's so good. I remember uh, a few months ago, I went on like this whole ass tantrum where, not tantrum, but like this whole ass spree where I just went and watched every single animatic and I just, I was just like, oh, Schlatt's design. It's so good. Schlatt's design. It's so good because it is. It is so cool. I love it so much. Anyways. <laughs> you had a dream and I thought it. Ah, Fundy is so cute. Isn't Fundy cute? Isn't he super cute? Isn't he super, super cute? Isn't he super cute, chat? Brought it down Sorry. Here, everything. You, you ruined it. <laughs> I did not spend weeks planning this revolution, giving you guys oh, gear you for you guys to go in. And do you know what I'm thinking? Wait, chat. Oh my god. Um, here. In, Nothing compares to a real holiday. In two weeks, you know in holidays, uh, here, in this one, right? <laughs> in this one, at the end, Techno's hair gets cut, right? Uh, where is it? No, it's already cut here. But Techno's hair gets cut. Uh, he still has it here and it gets cut, right? And then, I know it's like... I'm doing theories right now, what the hell? But like, uh, here, in this animatic, it's short. It's short. Huh? 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 And, oh, this oh, shoot. Not what I wanted. Solution. Sorry. <laughs> Given you guys gear for you guys to go in and replace one tyrant with another. So Don't you see what's happening here? That was the same film. Don't you see history repeating itself? By a traitor. What I also love is I've seen like this, this room, uh, in so many like arts, like art pieces. Why can I not speak? So many art pieces. Um, and like, obviously this is not how it looks like in Minecraft. So I feel like sadist or like just any artist, like take inspiration from each other and make this like really cool design. And I think that is super, super cool and super creative. Uh, I haven't planned anything with that, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, no, but I think it's super cool how like every artist have like th this room like in in their minds and like everyone draws it in a certain way i love that very much like it's not it's copying from each other but it's like taking inspiration from each other and that is i think that is so cool don't you see history repeating itself by a traitor that's so cool too it was never meant to be don't you come back no more Do it, Phil. Kill me. 
Phil Killen. You, you're my son! I saw like a lot of people on Twitter pointing out you're that the explosion uh, destroyed his his wings, which yeah, it's true. It's crazy. You want to be a hero, Tommy? That is such a good line. Then die like one. Yay! Good job, Sadis. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I've watched it so many times. <clears throat> oh, seven. Good job. <clears throat> Thank you, Anna. I got accepted into a college and got a scholarship. Pop, pop. Hey! Let's go, Anna! That is amazing! That is amazing! I personally love seeing the obvious improvement of Sadist from a sketchy animatic to almost an animation in so little time. That's true, that's true. Hello, Nikki, I love you so amazing. much. You are the most amazing person on Twitch. You are mine. Ah, oh, thank you inspiration i was wondering if you could say happy birthday Alyssa, for happy. her birthday edit happy birthday Alyssa! Oh, making i love you sm happy birthday Alyssa! i hope you have a good day <laughs> yh i can see why it must be annoying being called nikki imagine having a name with n-i-c-k in it that would be so cringy though at least they don't <laughs> sorry <it> nikki, nikki. <laughs> i'm sorry nikki <laughs> Oh, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. People spell my name with two Ks a lot. Music video of the Dream SMP. It's called Wanna Be in It. Ooh. Incredible! I think you would love it. I uh, the problem is whenever I start watching an animatic, uh, you I just keep getting recommended. I'm sorry. Say hi, Shari, Ly, uh, how how do I spell your name? Hi Shar! I hope you have a good day. Um, the problem when I watch animatic animatics is that I just keep getting recommended animatics over and over again, and I could sit here for hours just watching animatics. But I already do that in my free time, you know, chat. I already do that in my free time. <laughs> I would just call myself up. Oh, thank you, Beast, for the twenty-two euros. I appreciate it. Thank you. I would just call myself up, being like, Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. Know it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You're the first person I ever subbed to LMA. <gasps> Thank you, Retrum. I appreciate it. Let's go. Remember, Twitch Prime is for free chat. No. Hello, me, Hachu. I love no. your streams. They are the highlights. Still not. Day. Still not. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, what dye do I use to make my hair pink? Nikki, I don't I remember. Hair, and if so, what do color? I have one here? No, I only have bleach here. I don't remember. Um, when I get when I go to the shops next time and I get it, I pick it up. I'll tell you. I'll show you, chat. <clears throat> How do I get my eyeliner even? My eyeliner isn't even. It's, my eyeliner isn't even chat. Let me show you. It's like this one is like really big. They're like kind of edgy. This is like this is how I would do my eyeliner. This one on the other hand, I need to I need to see myself. This one on the other hand, it's just wonky. But it also I also I have different. <laughs> Every time I I point this out, people are like, I don't see it. But I have different sized eyes, like. I don't know if you see it, but this eye is bigger than this eye. And I also have like a very, very uh, slight uh, lazy eye. Um, this one. Because I have, a, I have a scar here, you can't see it. But I have a scar here um, that I got when I was really young. Uh, that didn't allow my, my um, eye to completely develop. It's still de developed, but it's like very slightly underdeveloped. That's why I have to wear glasses. Um, 
but like I, you know I have a very slight lazy eye this eye is bigger than this one uh and it's like it has like different a different shape which is normal a lot of people have that a lot of people have different shaped eyes that's completely normal we aren't completely symmetrical um because we're human <laughs> um so my eyeliner my eyeliner just it might look very even it is not it really isn't sometimes sometimes this one looks up and this one looks down or the other way or like i don't know inverted no not really but like you know uh but i th i have i have started to realize it doesn't matter no one cares no one cares and the people who care tell them to make it better you know that's what i'm thinking just do your eyeliner the way you want it to do uh the way you think it looks good um easy <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my eye isn't even. That's that's the moral of the story. Oh, oh no! I have it. I don't have my eyelid. It's not my eyelid for me. It's like, like, here. You can't see it because it's like right where my eyeliner is, which also makes it a bit harder to draw this eyeliner because it always goes into the scar. Um, but yeah. I walked into a staircase when I was younger. That's what happened. For the people who are wondering. Hey, Nikki, I enjoy your stream a lot. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. I love your singing, and I hope oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Strain your voice a ton. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I only talk when I'm on stream. Or like when I talk to people, but I don't talk to people that much, so... Where did you get it? Uh, HyperX sent it to me. Very, very kind of them. Very nice of them. Appreciate it. Uh, it's HyperX. HyperX Quadcast. Yeah. They sent it to me. Uh, because I needed a microphone, because uh, my old microphone, I have a Rode uh, NT1A in berlin but obviously i can't get it right now because of lockdown it's and everything okay so different. as a great streamer once said just because it's different doesn't mean it's not like the others <laughs> that is my <laughs> my most infamous quote just because it's different doesn't mean that it's not like the others streamers i hope you have a good day free thank you i appreciate it thank you For me, my glasses lens popped out and cut it open. It hurt. No! That is scary! Don't scare me! That can happen? What? How? What? Nikki, hearing you talk about the difference in your eyes made me what? feel better since my right side of my face sags lower than my left, and I've Aww. always been self conscious about it. I feel like, you know, you have to remember, like I said, we are all not symmetrical. As much as we want to be symmetrical and as much as we strive to be symmetrical, it is totally normal that one side of your of your face is not completely like the other. Um, as you can see, like, if you look at me, if you look at me, chat, I, I sag a bit. Everyone sags a bit. Uh, it's normal. It's fine. It's fine. No one cares. I'm telling you right now, no one cares except for you because you see yourself every single day. It was scary. I bumped heads with a kid and it came out and bounced. You just. Happened. Oh my god. That's crazy. Now you just need to remember like, that you. Like other people see you like you see other people. And. As my, I, like, yeah, we do focus on our insecurities a lot when we look at other people. I look at other people's noses so much <laughs> because I don't like my nose. Uh, and I like, in pictures, I look like, oh, do they have a lazy eye like me? Stuff like that. Um, obviously, I, I focus on my insecurities. Um... Ah, oh, uh, uh, animatic, yeah. I, I look at animatics. Oh, oh my god. Damn. I mean, 
as long as he's chilling. Um, no, but you just need to remember that even though you look at your own insecurities and you look at other people looking at your insecurities, like kind of con comparing yourself, uh, other people see you the way that you see other people. And no one will care about your face being a bit wonky or one eye being a bit bigger than the other, having a bit of a lazy eye. It, in the end, it doesn't really, it really doesn't matter. Like, I personally think that these things make you beautiful because these things are the things that make you special and they make you stand out. Like, yeah, I have a bit of a wonky eye. Who else has a wonky eye? You know, a lot of people, but still, you know, it's, it does make, like, imperfections is what makes you you and what makes you human hey nikki thank you for being an amazing content creator thank you i appreciate it comfort streamer hi Johan. if you're reading this thank you but also also i am not the person to uh talk against plastic surgery like i i am going to tell you right now i am planning to get plastic surgery at some point in my life because i at least with my teeth i've been so unhappy with my teeth forever uh and i i couldn't afford braces when i was younger because my my teeth were like right at the edge of still being okay so that like uh the health insurance wouldn't pay it but also just weird you know um, so I will probably do something with my teeth at some point, or maybe do something with my nose at, okay, nose at some point, because I personally oh, I unha uh, am unhappy I with it, and I feel like I would be happier looking into the mirror if these things were different. But, that doesn't mean that I want everyone else to change their nose if they have the same nose as me. I just personally think, on me, it doesn't fit that well. And I would like to change it. I would never, ever, ever judge anyone for wanting to change something about their appearance or their face or like anything, you know? If you're unhappy and it would make you happier to change it, then change it. But you need to, but like in the end, you still need to have it to a healthy degree where you realize that your imperfections are not the end of the world. I don't know if it makes sense what I'm talking about. Like, you know, if you are unhappy and you want to change something, change it. But also, also I love you and your stream. It's not that bit, it's not the end of the world, you know? Kind of that I don't know. <laughs> I hope I hope you understand, chat. I hope you understand. <laughs> oh, did someone really just promote in my fucking dude? Sorry. But <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that is that is a different level of entitlement. <laughs> he just promoted by donating to me. <laughs> Hi, I absolutely love your pink hair. I tried to dye mine green, but it didn't stay it. So I hear your gender is bi and your status is female LMAO. Yes. I'm, I'm planning to uh, upload that and to edit that. Uh, that will be really funny. Um, what's on Nikki Beats Hardcore? Will Mr. Sam be on Nikki Beats Hardcore soon? Yes. Yes, Mr. Sam like will be on Nikki Beats Hardcore. One or two. Uh, I haven't played the second one, but the first one is my favorite game of all time. So yeah. Hi Nikki, it was my birthday yesterday, so I'm using some of my money to sub and donate to my combat streamers. I love you. Thank very you. Much. you me with my mental health oh. a lot. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you're well. I hope you had a good birthday. Thank you for the amazing stream. I adore you and you have made my day so much better. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, I think... What chat. color should I dye the fronts of my hair? D. Pink. <laughs> um, I think it's time to go. I think it's time to, to leave here. Um, 
to to write someone. A lot of mental health problems, and I came across your Twitcher while ago, and you've helped me a lot. I want to say thank you so much. Oh my God! I'm so sorry. I'm not. Oh my Goding at your bits. Um, what the guy? Oh my God! Of you to ban me, I was just <laughs> expressing my opinion that everyone should join my Minecraft. Dude, okay. craftable net. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? You. Can you please say hi, Candy? <laughs> Thank you for the for the money. I hope you have a lot of luck with people joining your Minecraft server, Skillux Gaming. I hope you have a lot of luck. I, I'm, I'm sure that this is going to get you places. I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, if you... Skillux, I'm telling you right now, if you're trying to get that money back through PayPal, you will not get that back. I have lawyers and they don't care about that, okay? God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, who do we rate? Who do we rate, chat? Um, I I'm, 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 I'm gonna rate Puffy because we're gonna play with Puffy tomorrow. We're doing Nikki Beats Hardcore with Puffy tomorrow. She's playing on the Dream SMP. Um, give her some love. I will see you. Ooh. I will see you tomorrow for Nikki Beats Hardcore with Puffy. Who you will get sent to right now. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, evening, or day, wherever you are. And I'll see you tomorrow, like I said so many times. <laughs>